Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Um, it is Friday night and what am I doing? I'm by myself at home. I've got a night to myself. I am like beyond ecstatic. Um, I was crocheting a lot and uh, watching YouTubers and I realized that I've been a bad crochet YouTube community member. <laughs> I don't give out too many shout outs even though there's so many I watch. And they all need accolades, pats on the back, thumbs up, um, subscriptions. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I've tried to narrow it down to, oh, I think there's maybe 20 people on this list. There's many more that I watch. But uh, I'm going to try to do uh, about 20 tonight. And uh, hopefully <laughs> uh, you'll all go and visit them and... Uh, support everybody needs the support uh, so let's start off with the with the number one my number one pick um, it has got to be sheepishly sharing Margaret Olander is I don't even know what to say she is absolutely fabulous she doesn't do just crochet she does a lot of crochet charity uh, she tries to educate all of us on not just crochet but uh, all kinds of things. She's got mm, videos where she gives tips and uh, you know, she's just wonderful and I I love accents and hers is I love it. I, I've actually watched a lot of her videos more than once. I'll put her on and just listen to her in the background. <laughs> she is someone I strive to be probably never will be but she's one that I strive to be. So she just probably doesn't need the thumbs up but um, I don't even know if she watches uh, my uh, my little channel here, but if you are watching Margaret, keep up the great work. I love it. And then there's two that I find extreme. I call them my teachers. Um, they give information not just about patterns and about stitches and this is what I've done. Uh, they give information on a wide variety of things. The first one is Christine Kelly. Um, I watched every one of her episodes. I rarely um, commented on anything, but that's because she's impeccable. She does her research. I believe she is a professor uh, in the real world. Um, and she just, like, I've learned things about sheep. I've learned things about llama. I've learned things about uh, non-conventional materials for yarn. Like, I, uh, you know, recycled yarn. Like, I've learned so much from her. But I never, com I rarely comment because there's really no need to comment. She does an amazing job and she, you know, she fills in all the gaps. And then the other one is Crochet Luna. Claudia has taught me so much. In particular, um, there was one video that she talked about branding. And my daughter, who's in the marketing world, uh, has been urging me to create a logo. And anyway, I did. And I will show that in another video when I get my products. But um, I got the idea and the information from Claudia. She gives out, uh, she searches for patterns that she thinks that people will like. Um, she's, and then on top of that, she's an amazing crocheter. And she has rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know how she does it, but she does. Um, and she, she, like I said, she gives out tons of information and she's a joy to watch she really really is a joy she, you just want to hug her actually there's quite a few vloggers that I want to hug <laughs> um, yeah so this list is not including any ladies or gentlemen that do tutorials uh, or concentrate their channels on tutorials um, this is all basically vloggers um, and then then there's the, the vloggers that um, I use for entertainment's sake, uh, I could watch over and over and over. Um, the first one is, and these are no, in no set order, like there's not like this is the number one or whatever. Um, these are just people that I watch. Happiness is homemade. Karen is absolutely adorable. Um, she, <laughs> the stuff, she's, I think she's kind of learning some stuff as, uh, as I am too. And she's sharing that with all of us. And, uh, she, and she's like, she's dying yarn. She's dying yarn with her children. Um, 
that's amazing to me. Um, I love watching her. I love the stuff that she's done. I might be a little biased because we did a swap and uh, I'd like to consider her my friend now. Um, so I might be a little biased on that. Uh, the next one is the Dabbling Hook, Laurel. She's one of these vloggers where I can't crochet when I'm when she's on because I have to watch her. Uh, she has the most amazing skin of anyone I've ever met. Laurel, if you're watching, I like you this much. <laughs> um, she, like, I think that if we knew each other in person, I think that we would hit it off and we'd be great friends. And then on top of that, the amigurumi that she does, she's a an amazing amigurumist. Um, just like the workmanship is phenomenal. I uh, love watching her. Um, she doesn't do just amigurumi, but she's fantastic at that. Um, then there's Zelda NRJ3. Uh, I think you all know how I feel about Zelda. She is so much fun to watch. She doesn't only do crochet videos and yarn videos, although yarn is life. Um, she just shows up, she shows a lot. She shares herself with the world. Sometimes that's, you know, gets her a little uh, flack or hurt, but um, she shouldn't. Uh, she shouldn't be hurt because her channel is fantastic. She's fantastic to watch. And that smile, hello, how, do, how can that not brighten anyone's day? Love that woman. She's amazing. Uh, and another one that I watch, she hasn't posted much. I used to watch her for years um, before I had a, a, my own channel. And that is Cynthia at I Am She. Another one that is so entertaining. Um, I love watching her. She, I haven't seen any videos from her in a while. I, I believe she started another channel with regards to junk journaling uh, or crafting. Um, but so the I Am She channel hasn't had a lot of content, mm, crochet content lately. Uh, but it's still a joy to watch. I love watching her. Um, so those are those are entertainment. Then there's the little Xenia patch, and that's Angelia. Oh my goodness! Every time I see that pop up, I have to stop doing what I'm doing and just watch. She is a joy to watch, and her um, her podcasts are usually <laughs> very short because. I guess she does it on her phone, and her phone only lets her upload a certain amount. I think it's 15 minutes. Um, so I look forward to her little uh, uh, crochet and chat videos. I love it. I love her accent. I love I love the... Uh, this is another one who's amazing at amigurumi. She is just, just like, oh, I want to buy all her stuff. I don't know what I would do with it. That's why I haven't bought anything, but um, she's, she's amazing. She's really great, and she's so infectious. Like... The enthusiasm is infectious. She, after you finish watching her, you feel good. <laughs> so that's her. Um, I'm gonna try to make this really short. Um, let's see. There's and there's Jen's Crafty World, another one, who's got quite the sense of humor. Um, I find myself laughing at some of the things that, or facial expressions, or things that she says. Um, and it helps that she's a fellow Canadian too. She doesn't live, I, well. I was going to say she doesn't live too far, but that's in the grand scheme of Canada. <laughs> um, she's a few hours away, actually. Um, and she does more than just crochet, uh, although her crochet work is amazing. She's, 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 uh, I think she might be a little hard on herself. She made a top that looked amazing on her, and she was a little harsh on it. But anyway, she does cross-stitching and, like, other, as the name says, Crafty World. Um, so that's another one you should watch. Um, then there's the Cozy Cottage Crochet Podcast. Hannah. I think you all know Hannah. And if you don't know her, you should. And I hope that this doesn't offend her. She is like the Tinkerbell personality. She is bubbly. And again, you can't crochet while she's on because you have to watch her. She is so pretty and just you have to watch her. And now she's designing, and I've I've done her Treasure Island shawl, fantastic job. Um, I don't think she watches this channel, but she's the the shawl is great job. I've made it mm, I think three or four times now, and I plan on making it more and more and more. Um, so excuse the dog; he 
He's being a pain. Okay, let's see. What else? Well, down the list. Uh, Christie's Crochet Corner. Uh, another one who does amazing work. Um, and it helps that she's a dog groomer. Hello. I love dogs. Although right at this moment, he's irritating me. Um, and I have to say, by far, if I was giving awards, she would get the award for the best hair on YouTube. She she has adult children or, or children that are leaving. She's becoming an empty nester. And I would not be able to tell. She looks phenomenal. Uh, she, I think she makes quite a few shawls and things like that. And she, she wears them. Like I, th I think there was one episode a little while ago, she was going out for her anniversary dinner and she made a shawl to go with it. <laughs> I'm like, that's talent, that's amazing. So good job, Christy. Uh, then there's Hooked on Owls, Lacey. Another huge talent. She's a designer. Um, and she's in a blended home with, I think it's five kids. I could be wrong. Maybe more. Maybe it's seven. And she looks great for having that many children in the house. Oh my goodness. Like I would, my bags would be down to here. My eye bags would be down to here. Like she's, how do you stay so perky looking? She's gorgeous. And she is currently having an eighties mal, which I plan on entering. Well, that's the plan anyway. I don't know if I will, but um, she is, she's great to listen to and she, she, her work is, is impeccable. She doesn't do, she does mamma groomy and shawls and she knits too. Like, oh my goodness. And she's young. Like, how do you squeeze all this stuff in? Anyway, let's move on. Then there's Summer's Tips and t Stitches. Another huggable one. Um, she's perky and bubbly and you just you know she's the type of person I think when you meet her you gotta hug her you know like say oh it's been so while such a long time her kids are adorable she does a variety of things she shows off what she's done she's and she said that she's only been doing it for like three years my goodness like she's an amazing talent for only doing it for that short of a time um she's a great shopper um she uh she's teaching she's teaching herself how to knit um, she, uh, and she does a, a few tutorials as well. So great job, Summer. Uh, now then there's no catchy name. Ella at no catchy name. First of all, the name alone. Hello. How ingenious is that? It's, uh, you know, that's just great. When I was coming up with my name, I was like, that was the best I could come up with. Didn't put a lot of thought into it, but I'm kind of stuck to it now. Um, but the name is amazing. She's absolutely adorable. Her family is adorable. Jesse, her son, is a joy to watch. Uh, I watched a couple videos ago, him playing in the rain. Oh my God, that's so cute. She is one hell of a talent. The things that she makes are like her Mandela blanket. Like, hello, I, I don't even think I could even attempt that. And she's doing it. She's absolutely doing it. But what really impressed me with her is she looks like a very young, um, a little maybe a little on the timid side, young woman. And then she did a video where I guess she was um, talking about bullying on the the uh, different posts or Facebook, I think. And boy, the tiger in her came out. I loved it. I thought. Don't mess with her. She stood up and she said what needed to be said. And I have all the respect in the world for her. So if you don't know who Ella is, you should know who Ella is. But if you don't know who Ella is, go check her out. She's fantastic. Let's see. Let's keep going down that list. Then there's my two poets. My two poets. Random Randy's Ramblings. Seriously, you just need to... She talks with a lilt. Like... It's almost like she rhymes everything. I could listen to this woman for hours on end. And then on top of that, she's fantastically talented. She does, and she's got, she puts a little twist on all her things, a little bit of a dark twist, which I love. It's a niche that nobody else has filled. Um, she is fantastic. Um, sometimes she, she, she gets a little frustrated with, um, uh, motherhood and I don't know if she watches this uh, channel, but if you do, Randy, 
you need to carve out time for yourself because you need to take care of yourself first and foremost. Uh, that's what I've learned after raising four kids. <laughs> um, but otherwise, you know, she just she's just a joy to watch. She's created patterns. She's dyed yarn. And oh my God, her stash. Oh my goodness. That's one hell of a stash. And then there's Nicole Hagen. Or is it Hagen? I'm sorry, Nicole, if I pronounced your last name incorrectly. But it's Durab Creations. But I think her channel is called Nicole Hagen. Here's another Canadian who I fell in love with right off the bat. Um, she talks like she's reading you a bedtime story. Um, which, at the end of every episode, she does talk about books because she's in the the um, book community like that's what her job is and um, again I, I've checked out her Etsy page uh, or her Etsy shop and I've even bought something from her before she even finished a silly podcast I stopped and went and bought something from her that's how good she is she's influenced me um, she shops and everything she buys I want to have <laughs> so she's a She's a naughty influencer, um, but she's her work is impeccable, absolutely impeccable. So, thumbs up for her. Uh, then there's Lisa at Happy to Hook Creations. Lisa and Amanda, her daughter Amanda. This pair, I mean, I enjoyed Lisa prior to Amanda, uh, very much so. We did a swap, and uh, the things that she sent me, the, the kitty cat cowl, oh my goodness, just fantastic. Oscar, shh, shh, and um, and now she's got me on these these vet, circular vests that she's doing. Oh my goodness, she's another influencer. But then when her and Amanda hooked up, the show changed. So now you've got two of them bantering back and forth, and just you know making the time fly. You know you watch the uh, lives, and uh, they're awesome. And Amanda. She's gorgeous to look at. Um, yeah, she's got beautiful, flawless skin. She's young. She's, and now she's learning how to crochet, and she's getting better all the time. And, uh, yeah, love watching them. Let's see. Am I missing anybody? Uh, then there's Yarn Joy Podcast. Terry, she thinks like me uh, a lot because I guess we come from the same generation. We were both teenagers in the 80s. And... <laughs> But the talent on this woman, oh my goodness, and the determination. She's doing 365 grannies. Oh my goodness, that's determination. Um, she's one, and the and the way the amount of the volume of stuff that she cranks out um, to perfection is astounding. Like she's just fast and she's good. So you got to watch her. She's a joy to watch. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, have I missed anybody? Uh, oh, my pug of full life. Brenda is absolutely a joy to watch. Her hair, the color of her hair, it's mesmerizing. I can't crochet and watch her uh, or and just listen to her. I have to watch her. And then it, it, it doesn't hurt that she's got pugs. <laughs> She's another one that uh, she's very talented and um, she's again started dying uh, as well and she's done a great job so love watching her and her pugs and her children great uh, yarn journey podcast Holly uh, another hugger like or another person that I want to hug she she's just a joy to watch she's um, fun and she's uh, she's doing it all she's doing it all creating and like pattern making writing um, I love her uh, summer romance shawl I made it and I'm gonna make it again and probably again and again because it's such a nice design and uh, so she's another one but I don't think she's posted anything in over a month I would say so uh, maybe there's some stuff going on in her life I think she was moving so anyway Let's move on now. Uh, and then there's, uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Hold. Hey, hey, stop. Sorry about that. Ah, dogs, seeing other dogs, they get a little nuts. 
um, where was that? I think it was the proper pineapple. Holly at the proper pineapple. Um, I think you all know Holly. Um, and if you don't, <laughs> you got to check her out. She is absolutely infectious. And I want to say crazy, but in a, in a fabulous crazy way. Like you just can't stop watching her. She's great. And the dolls she makes, oh my. Like I'm, I'm sure you all know Holly. Then the other one that I think you all know is Krista from The Secret Yarnery. Hello, she she dabbles in everything. Like she she all kind. Nothing scares this woman. <laughs> She's willing to go head in. Like that's it. We want to do granny bag. We're gonna do granny bag. We're gonna do a a, a cardigan. We're gonna do a cardigan, and uh, uh, scrap blankets and like she just does everything. And she does the lives. And she has a, a website, and she's she's creating uh, or organizing a trip to Kenya. By the way, she's in, oh, you all know Krista. They're, they're, you have to know Krista, and she's a hoot to watch. She really is, and she's so generous. Like um, I've I've seen other vloggers talk about the little gifts that she sends. Come on, like like that's she's super generous. Um, and then there's a few that are newer to me, newer. Um, that I want to give a shout out to. There's Amanda Hooked on Yarn. And again, she's one, she knits, she crochets, she's absolutely adorable. And her daughter is absolutely adorable too. She makes uh, frequent uh, appearances on the podcast. Um, she's hilarious. Uh, anyway, it's a great podcast. Um, I'm not as familiar with her life. I'm still trying to catch up on her videos. Um, but she's... Uh, very talented young woman. And then there's Jammin' with Jammin' with Yarn, and that's Shirley. She's fairly new to me as well. Um, so you have to look her up and watch the video where she talks about the cowboy hat that she made. I was in stitches. She has got quite the sense of humor, and uh, she's had a, a, a... I guess the channel came about she's had a loss a big loss in her life and uh, she's just trying to deal with life and, and this loss and she's doing a great job with this uh, vlogging she's she's great uh, you should check her out there's um, uh, old school crochet co uh, or I'm not sure if co stands for co dot stands for company and that's Valerie now this young woman is one hell of a talent um, she, she's having a, um, a cow to make a snowy owl on IGTV. Uh, it's my intention to go and do it. Um, but I just, I've got so many other things to do. Um, but it looks amazing. Uh, and she works with that Bernat, uh, blanket yarn. Boy, the things that she creates. Like, oh, it's just, just fantastic. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to get into amigurumi that much because... Um, I guess even though I'm a crazy ass, I'm also a practical one. Um, and even though Amigurumi is cute and nice to look at and huggable and they're great for kids, I no longer have little kids around and there's no practicality to me, uh, for Amigurumi. Even though I love them, I love what others have made, I just don't think it's going to be for me. Anyway. And, uh, let's see, the last one, I think, is Setta's Place. Uh, and her name is Cassetta. I, I guess she's been on for a couple of months. I don't know how I did not see her earlier. She's fantastic. She's done a lot of stuff. And she does that, um, sipping, sipping chat or, oh, sipping something, sipping something. <laughs> She's another one that's great, and she's got this really cute laugh, and, and you can't help but love it. Um, so another one that I am trying to catch up on, and uh, I look forward to many, many more. Great job, Cassetta. Anyway, that is... Oh, I missed one. Scraptastic Yarns. That's Jane. Jane is quite the interesting character. She does a little bit of the crochet, like a, uh, the, the yarny bits, but every once in a while she throws in a little bit of um, her knowledge or a piece of her life or something. And now I love her voice. It's that 
scratchy kind of rough voice. I love listening to her. Even though I think um, she lost a vocal cord and that's why it sounds like that. So I hate to say that I love it because she lost it in you know unfortunate circumstances. But it sounds great. I, I don't know if she watches. I think she watches my channel. So uh, Jane, I love you. I think you're great. I love your little uh, input into life and, and opinions and uh, the stuff that you do and a lot of just the stuff that you do is for usually to donate or to give away and you just got a great heart great heart and uh, no offense if I put you on the bottom it's just that you ha I had you written down on a separate side there um, that's it for now um, hopefully nobody got offended by my list uh, that is not the intention of this uh, little post. I'm at the actual opposite. I want to give shout outs to everyone that I watch. And uh, there are many more, but I will put them in a separate video because this one's already getting to be like 20, so 20 some odd minutes. Um, and I will try to put all the links for everyone down below. Check them all out if you don't already know them, although I'm sure most of these you know. Um, if you don't know them, go check them out. They are fantastic. And lately, I haven't even turned on the TV because you vloggers are my source of entertainment. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk soon.